successfully we have implemented this confirmation box now we are going to write the delete logic inside this delete.php file i will come i'm just going to open delete.php i will write one comment delete logic so now we are not going to display anything inside delete.php we just have to implement php code so directly we are just going to start with php code so to start with php code first it is important to write the php syntax first step second step is to get the id number from the url and using that id we have to delete only that product present inside the database and if you are already aware that using get method we can access the url present inside the database so i will just write this one if is set dollar get and inside this i'm just going to pass the variable which i have created this particular variable delete variable if this delete is set only then i have to access that one i will just create one variable delete id inside this i will be using get method to access that inside this i'm just going to pass this variable copy and paste i just want to display that i will just write here delete id i will save this now inside this delete.php id is 4 as soon as i refresh this one you can see I am successfully able to get the ID number. Whatever I am having inside the URL, I just access that one. What I have done, if this delete variable is set, only then using this get variable, I am just accessing that and I am storing inside this delete variable. And when I display this delete ID, I will be getting the ID which is present inside the URL. To get data from input fields, we used to write dollar post and inside this the name value field so in the same way to get the id we just have to write here dollar get and whatever variable name we have given we just have to pass that one okay now successfully we are able to get the id now we are just going to delete that product so for that i will be writing delete query is equal to my sqli query I will select this and this is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable and second is the query i will be writing delete delete from table my table name is products delete from products where this is the condition i am giving inside my column id this is my column name column name id if this is equal to this id what we got from the url only then i have to delete the products okay this is the simple query delete from products if i give only delete from products whatever it is all the data will be deleted but i have to delete only the product which i want to delete so i have to give the condition where my column id is equal to this id only then that product should be deleted now we are using this connection variable so to use that first we have to connect to the database so i'm just going to include include connect.php i will be closing this okay we have returned the query now i just want to execute this one before executing if i am having some error in this query then we just have to write this time method or or die and let me just write here query did not execute or query failed whatever message you want you can write here okay we have completed our third step first step we are just checking if this variable is set or not second we have just accessed the id third we have just returned this query and fourth we have just included this connect.php now next we are going to check if this query is executed successfully I should be redirected to view products.php. I will just check the condition if this delete query 
this delete query is true if it is executed successfully then i will write here header and inside this i should not be going inside delete.php file i should be coming inside view products.php location location is view products dot php okay the file this one view products where all the products are displayed else i will remove this and here i just want to display the message echo product not deleted or there is error in deleting the product any message you can write and i should be redirected to view.php file okay, just write delete query and we have to pass the condition if this query is executed successfully i should be redirected to view products.php and the product should be deleted if not i should be getting this message okay let me just copy this and here you can write the message as well i will comment it out and here let me write product deleted save I will come here. I will refresh my project. For this headphone, the ID is 5. I will click on this delete, cancel. The product will not be deleted. Now, if I click on OK, now I will get product deleted. Now, if I just want to redirect here, I will uncomment this one. I will come back. I will refresh this. Now that product is deleted. I will click on this. OK, I am redirected to same file. And now here I am having this message, no products available. But here if you see, we are having one problem. Products are not displayed. We are not having any product. Instead, we are getting this header that we are going to fix in next session. Only to show the problem I have not fixed when we displayed the products. So now when we are not having any products, we will be getting the message no products available along with that we are getting this header we are going to see how to remove this header and if we are not having products let me just show you i will delete this you can see i should be getting only no products without header i should be getting the data